Welcome back, YouTubers. Welcome back. Uh, so this is how far I got on this. And I moved some of this stuff around. But uh, today I just want to talk about something about the libraries. So let's go and look at it. So recently I add, I went to the um, adding the libraries. And so if you go to footprint editor, I added a couple libraries, the one from third party libraries. And I notice so if you can see here, I have my own libraries, which starts with the EE now. And then I have uh, the DigiKey libraries. Where are they? Oh, I didn't add it here. Okay, so let's go to the schematic editor. Tools. Symbol editor. So, so here, if you can see the libraries here, I added all the DigiKey libraries, the ones that have the DK. And manage symbol libraries. So let's go here. So, so basically, I have in one spot the DigiKey libraries. And the thing that you can migrate the libraries here. Uh, so let me let me do this. See if I can see this. If we go to preferences, manage symbol libraries. So if I have let's just say global. So we go to global, right? And on the global, well, uh, this one is from the import from the Arduino Uno. We have that library there, the import. And so basically, this is a third party library. And I noticed that they put DK and then they have autom automobile have different parts but the key is that they use a prefix at the beginning so that it doesn't get confused with anything else so and I do notice that when I added the library format it says legacy but with the KiCad 6 actually the format is supposed to say KiCad but you can migrate so I did migrate some of my libraries. So if you look at here, I had this EE connectors. I, I had it as a legacy, but then I, when I clicked it and I went mi migrate libraries, that's how I converted to iCAD. So now if we look at here, now I can make changes. So from the legacy libraries, you can use them, but you cannot make changes with. So eventually, I guess, I guess you can make a copy and then migrate and see how it's working out for you. So always make a backup. So let's see my EE connectors. I have some here. This one, I have the logo. And I got the Molex. So this is the way I'm handling my libraries. Let me know how you handle your libraries. Comment. Put some comments there in the description of the video. Put it there. Comments. Make some comments. And let me know how you handle. This is the way I do it. I'm interested to know how you do it. And my way uh my way is basically uh i'm using based on what digikey is doing because uh 
uh, I don't want to interfere with the native libraries that comes with this software. And the other one that I added is the Spark phone. And on this one, on this one, let me go show you here. Uh, manage symbol libraries. On the, okay, so what I did is, Where's spark on connectors? So I added only the connectors part of it. Spark on connectors here, and I migrated. I only I only added the connectors. There's other stuff. So basically, what I did is because they had just connectors. So it will be easy if I can show you. So if we go here, so under my libraries, uh, so basically I'm putting everything in Sysmac, PVC, KiCat. And as you can see here, I have Sysmac, 3D parts, I have on the 3D part, this is where I keep all my 3D parts. And this is the files I have here for 3M. I got all these manufacturers. I have it saved it there in one spot. So if Kaika decides to do something else, I, my thing is are safe here. Now, Spark Phone. Spark Phone, Kaika Libraries. Okay, Libraries here. Okay, so on there, I think it was footprints. Okay, so you see here, I added spark phone, underscore, and then coils, clack, all this. Because what happened is when you just do capacitor, that is gonna conflict with the native libraries. So that's what I did to add this one. So I only add connectors. But let's say I want to add batteries. So I go here, I go into here, friends, reference, minus symbol libraries. And I go here, then I click here. Then I browse to here, and then we go to Spark Phone. Tracker libraries, uh, footprints. No, it's not footprint. No, that's for the footprints. We want libraries, and let's say I want to add. They already have connectors. Let's say I want to add. Let's look at the jumpers. No. Maybe switches. Let's do switches. So I got, I, 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 what I did with, I put spark on underscore switches, okay? Then I say, okay, then it's here. Okay. Let me click okay. So now here you're gonna see, that's gonna say legacy. Let's see, oh, it's working doing something it's busy okay so let's go and see manage libraries spark phone spark where is it? spark phone maybe it's at the end okay switches so if we go see how it says legacy okay so let me show you what happens so we click OK and it's doing its thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use something from there. So switches. So, <clears throat> OK, so we should have that one here now. Spark on connector switches here. OK. So let's close that out. 
let's go to all right so now let's go at a part here so it's work from switch it all right so let's see tip six okay let's see what happens all right so so we added this part save let's annotate okay so when you try to do e edit symbol i think it is. when you go to edit symbol I, I don't think it allows you to see edit symbol sw from schematic saving and then we go only say we will automatically discard schematic only e edit symbol library okay so you see here it says symbol in legacy libraries are not edible. Use manage symbol libraries to migrate to current format. That's what I was telling you. That in this current software, you can use your symbol, but you cannot make any changes. So you kind of forced to to migrate. So you gotta migrate. Okay. All right, so now let's do, no, we don't want to do check. We want to do, let's do a reference designator, annotate, close, save, and say tools, update PCB from schematic. Now let's go over here, that one error. It says not found. Switch 101 footprint, not found. Right, because we haven't added. Right, update, close. So nothing is going to show because we don't have a library which is linked to this piece. So if you hit E, it's looking for this, but it doesn't know where. So, we go here tools update footprints from no footprint editor and then we go to manage footprint libraries and here we're going to add a library for that so we go to Spark on Libraries Master Footprints and that was switches, right? Switches. Right here. Select folder. Say okay. Okay, so what I was saying is if you look at it, you look at it here. You look at it. Now we should see Spark Phone switches. Okay. So now we shouldn't have no problems getting back that part. So if we go tools, update PCB from schematic. Now zero error. So I found update. Close. Here is our fruit print. So that's how. So we can still use it. The symbol libraries, but I cannot make any changes until you convert that to the new format, KiCad format. But you can still use it as a legacy. So this is how I'm handling my libraries. So let me know how you handle your libraries. And I should see a change now here. So if I go preference tools update TV, it should take that one out. Close. Okay. 
So the layout, I haven't done anything in the layout yet as far as wiring, but I position most of the stuff. So I gotta make some symmetrical. So I did change the power connector. If you look at here, CQ, 3D viewer. I'm using this type of connector. Um, yeah, I believe it's a Molex connector. I'm using that two pin connector there, that reset. And here you cannot change the colors of the LEDs, but if you use Blender, you can do a lot of changes there of colors of the components and stuff like that. But that's beyond the scope of this. But you can watch the video. I have a video where it shows you how to, how to, how to animate the PCB boards and Blender. It's very interesting. So I have to maybe move these holes this way. So that's why I have space here. And I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to mount this in the view. So I, I did most of the, the layout here. I positioned the components, uh, but it's not final. So that's uh, my share so far with the libraries. This is the way I'm handling my libraries, third party libraries and my own libraries. And the um, uh, native libraries that comes with KiCad. So let me know how you're handling. Me, let me do what you have to, what, 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 what boards are you making? Are you following this? Are you not following what, what's going on? All right. So. That's all I have for today for the libraries. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.